Welcome back. This is week eight, video number four, and it's the end of our course. You've made it so far and you're doing so good. So I want you to keep continuing on with your guitar practicing. And remember, you know how to practice now, so you are able to do a lot of different things. Let's go over our songs from this week and we'll show you a couple more things of what you can do with this. Let's start with Funk Train. One thing we have not talked about is that you can do a combination of strumming patterns. Again, the strumming pattern is to fit the song. It's not to keep you in, the, in tempo and in the same pattern the entire song. At different parts of the song, you might want to change it. You might want to make it more simple. You might want to make it more complex. It's up to you and how you hear the song. And so let's try Funk Train. Now, when we played this before, we were just doing strumming pattern number one. And that was great. And it works and everything is, is happy with that one. But let's maybe try something else here. Instead of just doing strumming pattern number one with the emphasis on two and four, we could also add in something like strumming pattern number four on that one. So uh, especially right before we change chords. So for example, going from the, well, the first five measures, we start on the G7 and we go one and two and three and four. See how I did that? Right there, right before I went into the C chord, I went three, four, and a one. And then I got to the C. And what that did, it just kind of pushed it forward a little bit so that I could get to that C chord and everything would travel that direction. So let's try that this time. So every time before we change a chord, uh, I want to hear the four and a one. Okay? Four and a one. All right, I'm going to try that one time, so why don't you pause the video and practice that. Great. Let's try it with the track and play along with me. Here we go. Funk Train. One, two, three, go. Here we go. So you see how that kind of propels the song forward even more on that one. And you have the freedom to do any combination of these strum patterns. You have the freedom to create your own strum pattern and have fun with the songs. So let's go on to the next one. Let's do Invalid Ballad. And I want to see if you can, uh, well, here, let's do this. Listen first to what I do with the song and hear the different strum patterns that I do. And then I want you to try your own version of it where you Imp improvise your own strum patterns. All right, so listen first.
so you hear I, I made a few changes to that one and I improvised my own. Uh, for example, when I got to that D chord right at, uh, before the first and second innings, I went one and a two and a three and a four and a, and that kind of pushed the measure forward so that the the rhythm it almost seemed to like it would get faster, but it actually didn't. Uh, what happened was that the notes got closer together and giving it the feel that I've got faster and it kind of pushed the momentum of the song back into that G chord. Your turn now. So come up with some ideas of what you want to do. Think about it first. Maybe you want to try just accented pattern number one and add a little for and a in there. That's great. Maybe you want to keep it really, really simple and do maybe like accented pattern number four and, and uh, then every once in a while throw an accented pattern number one. That'd be great. Um, it's up to you right now. So here we go. I'll mute my guitar and I'll let you play along. Ready? One, two, three, go. Right. Well, very good. Bring my guitar volume back up now. Now, at this point, you're probably wondering, well, the course is ending. What do I do next? Well, next, there's a few simple steps to take. On the next page of your book, you have a diagram of chord charts, and I show you the kinds that we learned in our course the past eight weeks, as well as what I'm going to call the full chords. Because what, like, for example, we learned G like this, right? And I said, make sure you're only strumming those three strings. Well, there's actually more to the chord than that. We can play the whole chord like this, okay? And use all six strings to strum it. Um, so you can read the chord diagram and find, figure out how to do those. Go back and play the songs again, but use the full chords. There's your G, a C would look like this. The good thing is that they actually have the, the way we learned it incorporated into the full chord. So this is G. Well, the full chord, you're still going to use your third finger there. Nice curved fingers. But you're going to do the full chord like that. This, a C, for example, we learned like that. Well, here's the full C. A G7, like that. Same place. But we do it like that. The D, well, you already know the D. <laughs> uh, and then E minor is actually going to be like this. We learned it like this. But we're going to play with one more note. So, and that'd be the four chords that we've learned throughout the, uh, the, the course here. So that's one step that you want to do, and you can practice along with those chords. Um, another thing is find songs that you want to play and play them. Um, find ones especially that have the same chords you know. You know uh, very uh, a lot of chords here. You know G, C, E minor, and D, uh, as well as G7. And that means you can actually play a lot of songs. There are also websites out there that will help you transpose a song to the chords you do know and so that you can still play uh, the other songs. Um, and then finally, check out my website, m3creativeacademy.com, and our social media pages for further resources, tutorials on how to play guitar, things uh, like uh, Star Wars, for example, is, is on there, and lots of other fun stuff. And last of all, if you've liked these videos, if you've liked this course, and you feel like this was something that really helped me play guitar, like our videos for us and uh, like us on Facebook, help us spread the word about this. And this will encourage us to, of course, do more of these and to do more uh, stuff on guitar um, in the future. So keep playing guitar, remember how to practice and have fun with it because that's really what music comes down to. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.